Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. The goals are short and sweet, so aura analysis, healing, and energy activation. So we're gonna do that for you today. This is a big thank you to the client. Really nice to meet you. Really nice to get to support you. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. Really curious to see what comes forward today. So I'm going to close my eyes and we're going to take a look at your aura, see what it looks like, do some healing and some energy activation. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Just taking a moment to get in the zone here. So I welcome the universe to reveal here, what does your energy field look like right now? What is a good way to interpret it and a way that we can do some healing and energy activation for you today? Okay. Okay, so there's a picture, yes. I also feel kind of emotionally vulnerable. Mm, the picture is kind of egg-shaped. It's not like there's a barrier between where I stand, which is on the outside, and what exists on the inside of the egg shape. The color is really intensely, maybe a purpley red, maybe some pinkish. On the spectrum of red, on the, the egg shape itself, on the outside, on the inside, it's like pretty much the same color. There's a shivering on the inside. I'm not sure if it's sadness. It doesn't strike me as I'm afraid. It's more like sadness. I do feel emotionally vulnerable. There's a lot of density here. So this is just my initial interpretation. I got to work through the image in order to tell you more about it, okay? My first inspiration is actually not to look further. It's actually to place my hand on the ground outside the egg shape. And this is like human-sized egg. So I place my hands on this reddish ground. And the energy that I'm putting into the ground here is reaching you on the inside and asking you to come out of your shell. Seems to be an imbalance here with the breath where when you're relaxed and you're peaceful, you breathe easy, right? When you're stressed out, you might hold your breath even. So um, the energy I'm sending into the ground here could be even your root chakra I'm sending it into. I'm sending it into the ground is calling you to come out of your shell. Breathe easy, come out of your shell, okay? All right, there's anguish of the heart. All right, next thing. So rippling positive energy here into the ground. So let's call this ground your root chakra. You are paying attention. You are aware. <laughs> You're not so much shivering, you no know, emotionally shaking. You're quieter. Your ears are, you know, piped up like you are listening. Maybe you're trying to hide. I'm not sure. <laughs> but you know, someone sees you and someone is asking you to please come out of your shell. <laughs> Breathe easy. Come on out of your shell. Like that is a lot of the amplified energy right now. Okay. You're not sure where to get to your footing. So again, about the ground, root chakra, finding your footing. Finding your footing with what, you know? your life story, with your identity, with a life purpose that you know or just don't know yet. Um, it's like finding some ground to stand on. That's your ground, okay? It's your ground. So finding some footing. 
I wish we could speed it up. Can't force you to be ready <laughs> to leave your shell. Can't force you to just have your footing right now. I'm giving you the room to make that choice, okay? But the energy is here. The energy is very positive. That tells me that whatever you got going on in your life, there's a lot of positive energy. It's not just me. I just represent the positive energy that's already here, kind of coaxing you out. It Just coaxing you out gently. Not demanding, not forcefully. Hey, guess what? There's some love here for you. Come on out of your shell. It's okay. We love you. It's time. It's time now. And so it's like that, okay? Someone else is here. I want to say your higher self. There seems to be an emotional connection between where you are. Your back is to me. I can't really see you. You kind of smudge it in there. Trying to make a decision to stand and leave the shell, etc. Now I see there's another uh, persona here standing upright. And it's like belly button to belly button, but it represents emotion to emotion. And maybe there's something too about, you know, the umbilical cord representing um, nurture and motherhood or babyhood. Um, could be something about the inner child here. Is a female persona of your higher self. She is kind of a Greek goddess looking figure. She has a golden belt and a white uh, sort of draped garment. It's not a long white dress, it's actually shorter. And then she has a. I don't know if these are oh, like some kind of golden bracers uh, around the calves and the, the arms. It's kind of warrior like, very beautifully feminine. Very clean white garment, shiny golden belt, shiny golden bracers. There's an energy that connects you both emotionally, okay? I see uh, another scene. In this scene, there's a catastrophe. And we're talking serious, like uh, some kind of crazy earthquake. Who knows, maybe a bomb exploded. But I see many buildings just absolutely in pieces, shattered. Just crumbled to the ground. So huge piles of just crumbled buildings. I see your baby and you're being pulled out of a crumbled building, barely alive. And this is not your mother, but a woman holds you close and she wants to protect you and you can tell she cares about you. You're okay. And your baby. You're actually translating all of this information. You know this woman is not your mother. You know this woman is here to protect you. You know that you're going to be okay. You don't beg for your mother, you actually just beg to be safe. And you are safe. I see that this is a familiar story from somewhere. As this reaches your heart and I see a very kind face of this woman. And she's just a spirit, but she extends a helping hand. And this is getting emotional. <laughs> Is that what I was feeling when I got started? You're shaking like a leaf, not out of fear. Maybe at once out of fear, but out of emotion. There's a lot of love here to help you. Did something like, collapse on you in your life? Did it feel like everything just fell apart? It fell apart around you? And there's nobody there to actually pull you out of the rubble. But there is. This is an emotional um, conversation, okay? It's kind of, um, I mean, it's very pure and authentic. I feel it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you're finally expressing. Um, it, what would that emotion be? It's, it's kind of like the ultimate why. The ultimate... Um, I give up, um, the ultimate, uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, 
I don't want to. It's like uh, one of those moments where you're you're trying to define what is life, what is existence. It's not okay. So you're in a place where it's it's what you what you are experiencing, digesting, translating is not okay. And it's not as if this is death, but it's not really life. <laughs> so you express sounds in red colors. And you express it through the umbilical cord to your higher self as this feminine energy. But there's a nice, she's an old woman. It's just a very nice old woman here, just like a Mother Teresa figure. She's just like a very sweet old woman. Loves children. Deeply loves children. And her hand is always outstretched, like, um, let me help you. Let me help you. And you would never just slap her hand away. Because I, I'm looking for anger. I'm looking for resentment. I'm looking for uh, something like you might lash out, but you don't. But you don't really know how to touch her hand and let her help you either. It's almost like a strange intervention. Where you need to vent out a lot of emotion and there's loving beings here. Your higher self, this, this woman who has saved you in another life. And in a way, she says that you saved her too. She tells me that it's, it's not just about rescuing a baby from the rubble. It's the baby that needed her. And she felt like a hero. You gave her that. Like, it's just a strange way that we don't, we don't understand how the mirror works. We think it's all about the baby being rescued, but we don't think it's about the person who gets to be the rescuer. How powerful that position is. And it's profound for both of you. It's really, really good. Really good energy. <laughs> it's, it's pure, you know, pure love. <sighs> You uh, stand now feeling a bit strange because you hear it all. You don't feel as though you owe it to this woman or even to your higher self to change your mind. It's kind of a feeling of... Uh, It's the world crumbling around you, and you just don't have the strength to to stand. But you are standing here. You just aren't making a really noticeable decision to say, Okay, I feel so much better now. It's not like that. It's like, I see, I receive, I'm aware, I stand. That's where it's at right now. So something's changing for sure. I don't see your higher self. I don't see the old woman. I see um, that there's a huge, enormous sort of shake going on with the world around you. I know we just talked about that, but this is literally where this egg-shaped aura, the ground, all that scenery is literally shaking, is literally um, breaking apart. This isn't a devastating thing. This is more like you're setting yourself free from an energy you didn't realize was um, imprisoning you. It was making you stuck. And it's actually the whole scene. The whole scene. Like, the air, whatever that is, that's red. The, the egg shape that's red. Um, the red inside you hiding in the red, you know, standing in the red, the red ground. It's like reddish color, okay? But it's all just like like pieces are busting and breaking like chunks of the material of the space busting and breaking and you stand and okay well that's nice I see um, very angelic um, super bright white angel wings and like a white light um, in the center that creates kind of like a head shape and a body shape 
huge, huge wingspan. And I see this sort of like symbolically in the distance of a red... Um, it's like the death of all things, I want to say. It's like it's like the death of all things. Even in the breakdown, which is a good thing, in the rubble, again, you stand in the death of all things. But there is some um, light coming to you, okay? Almost like a rescuer coming to you. Angelic rescue, angelic... Um, it's a really cool scene. I mean, imagine just get a bit red, paint some red junky looking rocks and crumbles, have a kind of a reddish colored persona of yourself sort of looking off into the horizon of a chunky, um, broken kind of red world with a red sort of sky and then bam, this huge sort of angel is like coming in this painting and you're kind of standing where the body is but you can kind of see the body above your head like it's just coming towards you. This is what the scene looks like. Okay. You are looking for your reflection. <sighs> so, so just to, I just want to get back to your goals. You want an aura analysis. You want healing. You want energy activation. So this whole experience and this whole conversation is to achieve this for you, okay? All right. I noticed that you, you're not like celebrating seeing this very profound angel. You seem to be looking for your reflection and maybe you are the angel that then saves you. Maybe you need to see yourself as the angel that then is saving you. You are then the angel that saves others. You are the angel that is the baby pulled out of the rubble that gives purpose to this woman who becomes loved and needed and a hero. You know, it's like you are an angel. It's that's it's like that's wonderful but that's not um it's not as if you're saying that's not enough it's like um great <laughs> it's more like that like okay cool i like um like that doesn't solve your problems <laughs> okay Just a second here. I've got to really listen here. <sighs> I guess in some way, um, I really like this picture. I really like the message. <laughs> You're making it difficult. <laughs> okay, okay. So I got to really, really listen here. <sighs> how I'm asking the universe. Okay, look. How. What, what is going to help you truly find a rejoice in who you are? I wonder we're talking about the roots, the ground, coming out of your shell, um, receiving this emotional support, right? Seeing who you truly are, seeing the reflection of yourself within the angel. It's, it's like these seem to be just great words and all, but you something is preventing you from seeing how miraculous and how incredible and how wonderful, like... The celebration side of what this is about it's like you're not you're kind of monotone about it about it so i'm asking the universe how like what encourages you to remain not that celebratory here like to celebrate and um, be proud of who you are like why why don't you want to be proud of who you are that's the question you, you should ask yourself that too but let's just see what echoes here in the session. Why don't you want to be proud of who you are? And I am seeing that angel as a reflection of yourself. Therefore, you are the angel. You are, in a way, an angelic savior of yourself and others. That's pretty dang cool. Okay, so... Because it doesn't change the fact that it doesn't stop the breakdown. It does so being an angelic savior to yourself or others doesn't change 
the world. It's kind of, it's like, um, it doesn't prevent the earthquake that shatters the buildings that leaves children stuck inside screaming and perhaps even dying. Like, it doesn't change the world. That's literally your response, which, I mean, I can give you room for that. I mean, what, what's the universe got to say to that? I think it's an interesting conversation here. So, so you're, t I'm telling the universe, so this is what my feedback is here. Um, it's not going to change anything. It's not, so it doesn't, there isn't anything to celebrate because it's not going to change anything. It's not going to stop basically the end of the world. I mean, it's like, you're basically saying, so what? I'm an angel. It's not going to stop the apocalypse. I mean, you're straight up basically saying that. <laughs> okay. You literally are defining an end of the world. You literally are standing in the end of the world. You literally are, I don't know, between life and death at the end of the world that you're emanating that. So no wonder this is hardcore. That's your aura right now. That's your communication in the universe right now. No wonder the emotion. Okay. What does the universe want to say in return to that? Oh. Because you still are a baby trapped inside a broken building. And you won't let yourself be held and saved in a way. That's why it feels that way for you. Because you're denying yourself the feeling of being saved. And it keeps showing me a picture of huge blocks of material being moved and this little baby being pulled out and this woman just like glowing with light to hold you. <sighs> and it's okay to feel like a baby that needs to be held and that you've been afraid. It's okay to feel that. And it's okay to give permission to someone who wants to help you to be able to help you. Whether that's a human being or a, a spirit being. And that is really going to... That's the message that is going to be the ripple in the pond. That's going to give back to you, okay? What you seek. So I want to thank you very much for this. And thank you so much for sharing again. What a cool and very moving, deep message. Mind-blowing, really soul blowing that doesn't sound right <laughs> pretty powerful thank you for sharing that with me thank you and uh for those watching if you want me to take a look at anything you got going on there i'd re really be honored to help um you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com all right have a great day everybody